uh, Jean-Pierre once told me that uh, the whole reason he believes that he got the job from Fox was because he pitched them on this opening uh, shot, which is very much, if you've seen any of his other films, his, his French films, uh, very much in keeping with how he likes to get in and scrutinize things. Uh, it's kind of how he is. When he would pick up a, a, a little piece of something at uh, one of the houses we were visiting, in one of the visual effects houses, he would always look at that and make little comments. He's, he likes to see things up close. and I, um, I think that's one of the reasons why the shot came about in the beginning. He said that it was the one that, that got him the job and then ultimately it was left out of the movie. Because I was in my hotel waiting for an answer and I was so scared because, you know, after we just got James Cameron and David Fincher to make an, an alien movie, I was so scared. I didn't sleep because of jet lag and because I was nervous. And I thought, okay, I have to think one idea to prove to myself I am able to make this film. Okay, I opened the script, first shot, the main credits. Okay, let's find an idea. And immediately I found a very good idea. There's this whole bit about a little insect which actually is a set of teeth that the camera is on. And you think you're seeing an alien, and that was the first image of the film. And then the camera pulls out very slowly, and you realize you're looking at an insect, and then you see a finger crushing that insect. And then the finger picks up the insect and puts it into a straw. And then the camera keeps on backing up, and it goes through a window, and the guy holding the straw blows the dead insect into the window, and goes splat and the camera just keeps on pulling back. And as you leave the window, you exit and reveal the entire ship. It was this massive thing, and we spent months to get ready for it. And when push came to shove, we just basically ran out of money. It just couldn't be done. It was, the shoot was taking, we were starting to shoot things, and still knowing that we had to do some other parts to it, we said, you know, we're gonna go over. Everything was shot, except for the very first bit with the insect. And I think what happened, quite simply, is um, the insect was under-budgeted by the visual effects department. And at the 11th hour, um, Fox said, look, you know, that's it. No more money. So we all decided that, you know, the best course of action would be to pull the plug on it, as disappointed as we were, and the studio agreed that, it, you know, they didn't want to go that far over. It was a cool shot, but also it was sort of like a subtly comical shot, you know, Jean-Pierre Genet is sort of a parody of some of these big effect shots from films of spaceships. While it was really neat, on the other hand, it sort of just kept going and going. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't going to become like some sort of a, you know, an over-the-top comedy, but nonetheless, it, it still had that sort of, you know, there was really that subtle kind of inside joke that the shot just will never end. Um, but it was a great concept, and you know, we were actually extremely disappointed that we didn't do it. We built three different miniatures that we used for this shot that were never seen in the film, and they were pretty big. We came up with this uh, this other title sequence, which is, is basically the clones, one morphing into another, and the credits rolled over that. Uh, it's it's something we already had, and it's kind of spooky, and you know, I think it worked well. But there was that great signature um, Genet shot that unfortunately got left out, and I know everyone was um, from Bill and Jean Pierre to the studio was disappointed in not seeing it. In fact, this is a secret, but I was pretty relieved because, in fact, I think it was a little bit too, too funny for the beginning of Alien. And I didn't say anything to, to the people. I said, what, you want to cut my ID? But in fact, I was very happy and I prefer the credit we have now.